Greetings, it is March 13th, 2014. I am with uh, one of four proofs that were printed similarly, each one similarly to this, albeit each slightly differently, uh, in uh, red, white, and blue, the uh, patriotic fervor of which is dazzling me, uh, in uh, probably in 1981. Uh, I own, well, this one proof is still in the studio. Uh, one was uh, purchased uh, by the Port of Seattle and is framed and hanging up, I believe, at least so I was told when I stopped by there a year, year and a half ago, hanging up in, uh, in a um, like kind of administrative um, uh, office area where they have um, like a conference room. Um, one was purchased by uh, Lisa Harris, owner of the Lisa Harris Gallery, when I was fundraising to leave for Europe in uh, probably 1985, and I assume she subsequently sold it to someone or someone's in around Seattle, but they could have been from out of town. And the fourth proof was purchased by uh, First Interstate Bank of Washington, which uh, no longer exists as a bank, at least in Washington State. It was also uh, and that was uh, purchased in uh, December 1981, uh, a companion piece called Hieroglyph Number no. 1, which printed in similar colors, the plate shaped slightly differently. I had taken an uh, electric saw to a 2 by 3 foot etching plate. Uh, it was also purchased by First Interstate Bank of Washington and was hung, I understood, for many years in their legal division on the 46th floor. Um, I'm hoping to uh, that the staff who I uh, spoke with today at Wells Fargo, which now owns, occupies a n some of the floors that used to be First Interstate, um, will be able to locate, if they, assuming they still have them, the two framed uh, etching and aquatins, because the other one, hieroglyph number one, I don't have a uh, photo of. And uh, if they find them, I'll also do a very short video of the two of them. Uh, hopefully they'll be hanging together if they're still in the collection. Then uh, I'm going to see if I can locate the uh, five artworks that were purchased by Rainier National Bank between 1982 and 85, at least one of which I don't have a photo at all, a very large drawing called uh, uh, La Terre C'est Bien, The Land or the Earth is Good. There you have it, The Vanishing American Eagle, number one, an etching and aquatint of proofed in around 1981, originally made as a plate called Homage to the Mayans 1 in 1977 or 78 when I was a graduate art student for a year in St. Louis, Missouri. There you have it.